Hey guys, so I just watched A Quiet Place and it stars John Krasinski and he also directed the film and he has writing credit and it also stars his wife Emily Blunt who plays his wife in the movie and I had already heard so many great reviews for this movie so I had to see it. Um, it was at 100% on Rotten Tomatoes for a bit. So many people were just loving the movie. And initially when I had looked at the runtime, it was only like an hour and a half. And I was just thinking, is it really long enough for them to tell the story to the best ability that they possibly can? And can the actors even, you know, express their emotions well enough with little to no dialogue? This is an amazing film. So basically The Quiet Place is about a family that lives in a world where you can't make a sound because if you do, you die <laughs> because there are monsters lurking around every corner and even the slightest noise can attract them and basically they're blind so you know they can't see you if you're there but if you make any noise you're kinda screwed so basically we watch this family struggle to survive as they use sign language and do all these various things to survive and to not make any noise of course that's where the tension comes in because this movie is intense all the way through and you know sometimes they make mistakes and stuff happens right off the bat just before I even get to the horror aspect of this movie and whether the scares work, the performances in this movie are just fantastic. I mean, Emily Blunt is actually John Krasinski's wife in real life, so in the movie, it made it even more realistic. The kids, uh, the girl who is, I, I forget her name, but she's deaf in the movie and she is also deaf in real life. And she gives an amazing performance, as does Noah Jupe, who is also in Wonder. And all these performances combined, <laughs> just made the movie so great and also the fact that there was almost no dialogue in the movie because you know the story is that they had to stay quiet it is sometimes very difficult to really express your emotions well enough without any dialogue but in this movie they all do a fantastic job and they really excel at that and getting to the horror aspect about this movie it really isn't just a monster movie in the words of snow kit it's something truly special but i mean getting into the horror aspect of this movie John Krasinski really does know how to handle scares. I mean, there are quite a few jump scares in this movie, but they are handled very well. That's not to say that a couple of the scares weren't very good because they were false jump scares. Um, I won't spoil anything, but that's really where my issues lie with this movie. I only have like a couple nitpicks here and there because although there are some really good scares in this movie and some really good built-up tension. A couple of the scares are false and just the jump scares themselves, there's just a little bit too many of them in this movie. Although they are handled well and I was quite tense for a large portion of this movie and I was actually kind of shaking at times. So although I did have some little nitpicks, I was locked in pretty much the whole time due to John Krasinski's amazing direction in this movie. Now, before I watched this movie, I had heard that this movie will cause people to get annoyed, not because of the movie itself, but the movie-going experience, and <laughs> it was unfortunate for me. People usually, if you don't know what I'm talking about, in these kind of movies, it's just when people talk during the movie, it's, it's, it's always not a good thing in a movie, but this kind of movie, it was it's really bad because just this movie is so quiet and you really want to feel like you're in it and just feel so tense. There were some people behind me, man. I was just... Ugh. But anyways, enough about that. I really love this movie and I do have to think about it more, but I do think it is my favorite movie of 2018 so far. Please go see it. Don't miss it. See it in theaters. It, it's really a worthwhile experience in theaters. And although I do have just a couple minor issues with the movie, it really is very unique and one of the best horror movies I've seen in a while. A Quiet Place is amazing and I'm gonna give it an A. Definitely check this movie out, guys. It is so damn near perfect in my opinion, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share. I'd really appreciate it if you did. And as always, have a great day. Peace out.